Hello, Blake Hooper here, Equalizer Exchange. Uh, just wanted to quickly run through a few things here and show you the basic uh, modeling that we're using for our exchange. It's um, an interesting concept because what it does is it actually uh, incentivizes liquidity in a different way. So I'm gonna run through it in a simple form. We'll get into a bit more of a detailed form and then We'll take a look at what it looks like from a Uni V2 model, just the, the differences that you, you're seeing here. So to start off, you've got, um, I suppose, VE equal, which is your your lock token. This is the token that you, uh, you lock into an NFT, and that um, vote escrow or VE NFT has a 20 up to 26 week lock. And based on how long you lock that for is going to be how much voting power you get which um, as you can see here, you vote uh, to the equals, uh, sorry, the equal emissions contract. And then the LPs receive the rewards in equal that are being voted by these NFTs here. So you actually control the power here to then um, push these equal emissions to the LPs. So liquidity uh, providers or liquidity on the platform is to give you you know some simple examples would be something like ethereum usdc or, or phantom usdc now those two combined in a in a pool together as a pair they are of, of even so there's a 50 50 mix of both and they're what are used to do the swaps in a decentralized exchange. So you provide this liquidity, it comes across into the automated uh, market maker, and then the swaps occur from there. So someone comes in and they might have some ETH, they want to swap it for USDC, goes into the pool, it swaps uh, depending on whether you want ETH or USDC, and then the pool gets uh, changed, the calculations and the pricing changes, and it keeps that equilibrium in that pool so that you, you effectively get your price out of there, but you, you get the swap, you get what you want. Now, then what happens is you pay a fee when you're using this automated market maker. So um, what happens is the people that have locked, as we came back at the start here and, and displayed, the people that have locked this VE equal in this NFT actually get the fees that come through. So anyone that's already locked there, yes, they get to direct the emissions down here that go back to the liquidity, but they get the fees that come through. So you get this completed loop, all right? Now there's one other thing that you, you have the potential to get when you're here, and that's bribes, but more like external people would bribe people to vote for those LPs. And there's reasons that are past this video that uh, people would do that. But effectively, the main thing to know is that you're gonna get the fees that come through here. So that's what makes the VE equal so valuable. Then we move on and we, and we sort of add in an extra dynamic here where you can start to use strategies now and, um, and really get the flywheel going. So you can choose to, um, choose to lock your rewards that you get here in your liquidity uh, for, for providing that liquidity when you get your equal from the contract as it's minted it's it's very um easy for you to then lock it so that then you get the ability to get the fees coming so you start to get this real flywheel happening where it's sort of going around but now you can start to lock your equal that's coming through while you're providing the uh the liquidity and then now you get a share of the fees also you can then start to direct um, the, the equal from the contract that's uh, incentivizing these pools back to the pool that you're using. So you're starting to really get a flywheel that's working in multiple angles. And then um, what you can do here is you can get the fees and those fees that are coming through from the automated market maker are actually in the denominations of whatever that pair is that you're voting on. So by voting on that pair, you get the fees back, you can then lock them away into liquidity yourself. Start to get the equal tokens, lock them back into here, getting more, and then also again, getting the fees for locking them away. So you can start to see how you can really keep yourself within the ecosystem and have multiple ways to make an income from this. Now I wanted to go through and just quickly show you sort of like what a Uni V2 uh, fork typically works like, and you've obviously seen the model that we're using here for our exchange. So, so typically what you'd see is you'd basically have the liquidity providers, 
as we have in ours, provide to the liquidity pool and then the fees just come back to them. So the reward for the liquidity providers here is basically just the fees coming through, okay? And then there might be a token emitted to these people, like what we do, but this token here doesn't really have a lot of value to it or, or utility, it sort of lacks that utility. It doesn't really complete like a flywheel action like you saw in the other example there. So this is sort of the, the old, I'd say traditional model that was used for, for DEXs where you would provide liquidity, use the fees to incentivize that liquidity, and then basically just try and keep a loop going there. Whereas the model, as you've seen that we're, we're adopting, where you start to really get all the angles and you get people where they can start to, you know, use different strategies to really get a flywheel going. So I wanted to just explain a few things for you here. Obviously there's, there's lots to learn about how this model works and we'll go further into details like this as we have the website up and running. We can start to show you where it actually sort of fits into the website and the actions that you take on the website, the functions you perform on the decks. So um, look, take a look at this. We'll, we'll leave up some um, examples of this in the Discord and things like that. So pop in if you're not already in there. It's a good place to ask questions and really get accustomed to the model we're using and the benefits that are there for you.